hey guys welcome to my channel my name is matilda so guys today i'm going to be reviewing the kose sun cut uv perfect gel super waterproof sunscreen now this sunscreen is for the oily skin girls you guys know i'm on a rampage of looking for as much sunscreens as possible that will be perfect for oily dry combination skin so that is what today's video is all about we're going to be reviewing this sunscreen right here so if you would like to know my thoughts on this sunscreen then keep on watching this is the Coastal Sun Cost UV Perfect Gel Super Waterproof Sunscreen. It has an SPF of 50. Now, let's talk about the claims about this sunscreen. This sunscreen has a lot of claims. This is a Japanese brand. So, obviously, everything is written in Japanese. And as you all know, I did the translation for you guys, which I'm going to put on the screen right here. So, this sunscreen, after translating it, I found out that this sunscreen has a lot of claims. I'm like, girl chillax chillax you claim to do all these things okay we're going to test out each and every of these claims that this sunscreen is saying that they do so what are these claims about the sunscreen so we're going to be talking about the information about the sunscreen and the claims so this sunscreen is a chemical sunscreen it claims to be super waterproof no fragrance no coloring no mineral oil resistant to sweat water and sebum has uva and uvb protection contains hyaluronic acid collagen squalene 10 plant extracts enhances the glue and stickiness of foundation and prevents makeup from coming off can be used immediately after sweating and after getting out of the sea or pool it is wet skin okay and it is easily removable with soap Whew, that is a mouthful so i won't do too much talking we're going to go straight to the application and actually test out all of these claims because you can't be claiming all these things now we need to be sure that you actually do all these things right that's why you came here so let's go on to the application and test it out i already have my moisturizer on my skin so we're going to be testing out this sunscreen right here this is how the sunscreen comes in so it comes in this pack right here this is the sunscreen right here something i forgot to mention is that this sunscreen is 100 gram let us apply the sunscreen using the two finger method one here here i'm gonna apply So here is the finish of the sunscreen. No white cast. That's good. This sunscreen claims to be super waterproof. Now, that is a big claim. So I'm going to test it out with water and you guys are going to tell me if it is super waterproof or not. Before we test out the water resistant nature of this sunscreen, I would like to reapply the sunscreen and see how well the sunscreen reapplies throughout the day. This is the texture of the sunscreen. how we're looking after a second reapplication of the sunscreen let's test out how well this foundation works with water because it said it is water resistant right so i'm gonna put a little bit of water in this cup and um, let's just apply it oh i should have covered my dress oh. guys you can see how the sunscreen applies with water the water is just sitting on my skin so i think it is water resistant from what i'm seeing what do you guys think in the comment section this is my um, tissue paper so i'm just going to tap um the water in and see how it looks the next thing we're going to do is test out this sunscreen with makeup so we're going to test it out with makeup and a moisturizer i'm going to test it out without a moisturizer and with makeup
we have done a lot of application with this sunscreen we have tested it to its fullest capacity so now let's talk about this sunscreen right here remember i am doing all this testing because this is what the sunscreen claims to do so we're actually doing a detailed review on the claims of this sunscreen when i applied this sunscreen bare face without moisturizer i noticed peeling in the sunscreen so i think the peeling happened because i put a lot of sunscreen anytime i apply the sunscreen bare face and i don't put a large amount of sunscreen i don't notice this peeling but when the sunscreen quantity is a lot i notice the peeling but the peeling is not that bad because once it peels like it only peels when you actually rub your skin against it like you rub your finger against your skin that is when it peels it doesn't peel on its own you have to be the one to actually rub it in so i think when you are when you apply a lot of sunscreen and you are rubbing it into your skin you will notice the peeling but the peeling can be easily dusted off that is when you apply the sunscreen without moisturizer now the next thing we did was test out the sunscreen with moisturizer and when i tested out with moisturizer i noticed minimal peeling the peeling was lesser when it was without moisturizer so what i'm thinking is that this is because it's a sunscreen that is more for oily skin so it has less moisture inside the sunscreen so the lack of moisture is making it peel who knows but one thing i forgot to mention is the first thing you're going to notice when you apply the sunscreen is the alcohol smell it has a strong alcohol smell but this the alcohol smell evaporates in less than five seconds when you apply it and i think the reason for that is because alcohol is the second ingredient or the first i can't even remember <laughs> i'm seeing japanese so i can't remember what i translated sometimes i smell it when i apply it sometimes i don't smell it it varies what is the finish of this sunscreen this sunscreen does not have an oily finish it doesn't have a matte finish but i feel like the finish is pretty okay like i like the finish because you can see it it's not oily at all it's not greasy it's just the perfect balance it's just like a satin finish even with moisturizer and without moisturizer the finish is still the same and this sunscreen is actually perfect for people that have um oily skin so if you have oily skin and you're looking for something that's not going to make you look like a ball of grease this sunscreen is good for you but if you have dry skin i wouldn't recommend this sunscreen now when i apply this sunscreen with water it showed some water resistantness because i applied the water on top of my face and the water was just sitting on my face it was not mixing with the sunscreen it was just sitting on my face so i think it has a water resistant nature let's just move on to the pros and cons of the sunscreen to help us better understand this Kose sun cut uv perfect gel super waterproof sunscreen now the pros of the sunscreen first thing it's a good size i can't like when you see something good you have to say it this sunscreen is 100 gram which is approximately 100 ml so it's so much better than those sunscreens that will give us 13 ml 15 ml and you guys know that one thing i always complain about is the size the size of the sunscreens they be too small you guys want us to apply sunscreen every four hours you want us to do the two finger application give us big sunscreen even though 100 ml to me is too small I can't complain because there are worse sizes so this is actually this should be like a standard 100 mil then it can go higher 150 200 i mean the bigger the better right how much does this sunscreen cost i'll put the price on the screen right here another pro about this sunscreen is that this sunscreen does not leave a white cast the texture of the sunscreen is like a gel-like consistency and it is a gel so it's actually a gel-like consistency it's quite lightweight when i apply the sunscreen that's the pro of the sunscreen when i apply the sunscreen it doesn't feel like i'm applying sunscreen it is so lightweight it feels so lightweight i have to give it to them like they did that with that because i don't like feeling sunscreen on my face so i like the fact that the sunscreen is lightweight Another pro about the sunscreen is it is not greasy at all. It leaves you a satin finish, so it's not matte like powder. I mean, it's liquid at the end of the day, but it is not matte. 
it is not greasy it's not oily so if you have oily skin you are gonna like this sunscreen so it's great for oily skin another pro about this sunscreen is it works well with makeup when i apply this sunscreen with makeup and a moisturizer this sunscreen did not peel this sunscreen works well with makeup even when i did not apply moisturizer and i applied makeup on top the makeup kind of covered the small peeling that was happening with the sunscreen without moisturizer so one thing i noticed we'll talk about that more in the cons so let's just let's just leave it but this sunscreen works with makeup so the claim about it i don't know if it enhanced the stickiness of foundation but it works with makeup like it works with makeup i'll give you that it also works with wet skin sometimes i apply the sunscreen without moisturizer while my skin is still wet it still blends in seamlessly so they were right about that it's wet skin okay it can work with wet skin another thing about the sunscreen it is fragrance free i like products that don't even have fragrance because fragrance can be sensitizing to the skin so it's best to even avoid it altogether but sometimes it might have fragrance might not be sensitive to your skin it's just like a precautionary measure that you can you can take so now let's talk about the cons of the Kosei Sun Cut UV Perfect Gel Sunscreen it has an alcohol smell now this alcohol smell goes to show that it contains alcohol it contains ethanol so if you're sensitive to ethanol you might not like the sunscreen but one thing to take note of is the alcohol smell goes away right now i can smell it it literally evaporates so it's just something i'm letting you know in case you have a problem with alcohol i don't have a problem with alcohol now this sunscreen is not for dry skin yeah if you have dry skin you can use it but it's best if you use it with a moisturizer one thing i noticed about this sunscreen another con is that this sunscreen peels when you don't apply moisturizer some people might want to apply the sunscreen just sunscreen they don't want to apply moisturizer you will notice peeling if you don't apply moisturizer but if you apply moisturizer you will not notice the peeling so the peeling of the sunscreen is another con but the peeling can be dusted off but if you don't want that extra struggle you might not like this sunscreen so what are my final thoughts on this sunscreen this sunscreen is a yes for me i have oily skin and i like the sunscreen i've been using it i don't have any reaction to it the sunscreen doesn't have a white cut and i really enjoy the fact that it is so lightweight on the skin but the peeling is what i really don't like about the sunscreen i mean but i cannot really complain because most of the time when i apply the sunscreen i apply it with moisturizer and with moisturizer you're not going to experience peeling so guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoyed this review of this sunscreen right here so if you want to see me outside of youtube you can check me out on instagram twitter facebook pinterest tiktok all matilda duku hey 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 so guys thank you so much for 6,000 subscribers guys we want to thank you i really appreciate all the love and support everyone that watches my videos comments likes oh my god guys i really appreciate it i love you guys so much so we are trying to get to 10 000 subscribers and we can't do it but if you guys want to share my videos to people so if you know anyone that might be interested in this video please share my channel share this video that person and i really appreciate it so guys this sunscreen was part of the sunscreens i mentioned in my five sunscreens that does not leave a white car so you can definitely check out that video if you're looking for more options when it comes to sunscreen speaking of sunscreens guys i have a skincare playlist right here with all the sunscreens i've ever reviewed so you are definitely going to see one sunscreen that's going to work for you. So definitely check out that review right there. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to see you in my next video.